exceed english grade 5 block number 17 elements of science fiction lesson plan 3 elements of science fiction students will be able to identify and describe the elements of science fiction turn your english readers to page number 93 the next day went as normal. The school project was interesting and Nilesh called me names. Just as we waited for the bell to ring, the siren went off. The siren usually meant that there was an accident. Nilesh ran up and checked the interactive map on the wall. He called me over and for once he didn't sound annoying. He looked at me very seriously. His finger was on the site of an accident. Nilesh ran up and checked the interactive map on the wall. He called me over and for once he didn't sound annoying. He looked at me very seriously. His finger was on the site of the accident. It was the construction site of the new dome. A hard burning, a hard burning feeling started in my stomach. My dad's, dad was out there. The teacher pushed the button on her desk and asked to be connected to the construction site. There was no response. I ran out of the class dorm. My teacher yelled for me to wait, but I didn't listen. It was only when I reached the recreation dorm that I realized that Nilesh was behind me. What do you want? I yelled in his face. Calm down, he said, putting his hands up. If there is no response there, they'll have to send water bikes. The bikes might not get there in time because the construction site is too far. I just want to help and you obviously have a plan. It was so like him to speak for half an hour when one sentence was enough. Fine, put on your suit, I said. Jesse seemed a little nervous when I showed up with Nilesh, but he greeted me anyway. I just typed in, Dad, accident, what happened? Jesse knew where the construction site was. All the, all the dolphins knew. He swam off a little way and sent out a series of clicks and vibrations into the water. The other dolphins understood the message and sent it out to others along the way. After a few minutes, Jay-Z turned towards me and chirped through the translator. There is rockfall. People under the rocks. Don't know where. Chur people. Nilesh said, I can use the satellite radar. Keep your communicator on and I'll tell you where to find them. Nilesh went back inside as I waited patiently. Finally, I heard his voice through the communicator. There is one person under a 40-foot cliff. Will you be able to translate that to the dolphins? I typed the message into the translator and Jizzy passed on the message to other dolphin. Nilesh told me the location of all the people he could see through the radar. I translated it to Jesse, who passed on the message through the water vibrations. The message was received by a pod of dolphins near the accident site. One by one, they found the people under the rocks and pulled them out. Finally, Nilesh told me that the water bikes were back from the site. I popped back into the recreation dome. I could see Jesse waiting and watching for me from outside. As I entered the dome, Nilesh held up my tablet, grinning it was my father's face. He looked tired but happy. After the explosion, we were trapped in the rubble and there wasn't air enough air. I thought it was going to be the end, he explained. But then the dolphins came and it was like magic. They worked together to pull us all out. We owe them our lives. That cold heart feeling in my stomach turned into laughter. I just couldn't stop laughing. I turned to Jesse. He began dancing in the water. Nilesh looked at Jesse and me and started to laugh too. Maybe he wasn't the worst boy on land or under the sea after all. So far, what happened in the story? Tara's father met with an ex accident at the construction site of the new dome. Nilesh and the dolphins help Tara save her father. Nilesh helps Tara in finding her father and saving him. Nilesh is helpful and friendly. Which part of the story are realistic? Many parts from the story were realistic like Tara studying in school, losing her attention during class and not getting along with the classmate.
What parts from the story can happen in future with the help of advanced technology? The part from the story like talking to dolphins with the help of translator, reading an interactive map and living in a dome under the ocean might be possible in the future with the help of advanced technology. How is the story similar or different from the other fiction stories? What do you think was the author's purpose for writing the story? Like other fiction story, the story too talks about some imaginary things. Unlike other fiction, many details in the story are related to science and technology. The imaginary events in the story, like an entire colony of people living underwater, dolphins talking to humans and saving their lives could possibly happen in the future with the help of advanced technology. The author's purpose for writing science fiction is to share a possible future in the form of a story. The author may also be trying to make us aware of what are, what we are doing today and where it can be led. For instance, the present changes in the Earth's climate could have serious effects in the future, as shown in the story. Reading science fiction can help us to make the future better by making us aware of the dangerous effect of some of our present actions on the future. Open your worksheet volume 3 to page number 7. Question number 1. Fill in the story map for friends at the sea escape. Put a star next to the details that are related to the signs. Title of the story Friends at the Sea Escape. Character Tara Setting Sea Beginning Where does the character live? What is her life like? What happens in the beginning? The main character Tara lives in an underwater colony, sea escape. Her father died. Her grandfather died in a storm that happened due to changes in the climate. And her father turned to the life into in this ocean. She plays a staring contest with fishes. Middle. What happens in the middle? What is the problem? What does the character do? Tara doesn't like Nilesh. She finds him annoying as he laughs at her. She goes out in the sea and plays with dolphins. How is the problem solved? How does the story end? Tara's father meets with an accident at the construction site of the new dome. Nilesh helps Tara in finding and saving her father. Finally, they become, became good friends.